guys. Happy weekend. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Okay. This throw is a little challenging, so try to stick with me. We have every court card at every level in here. And the only trump that we have is the transformation card. I think what's happening here, um, and it would apply with the energies too. I think that it's, I think what the court cards represent honestly are just different phases in life, just different. Uh, we come in with the energy of the page of wands, okay? And we have the uh, Knight of Cups, the Queen of Coins, the Death card, Transformation, um, the King of Cups, the Four of Coins, and the Seven of Swords, okay? This is, I'm going to hit this from a positive, and then I'm going to hit it from a negative, okay? Because we're not perfect, and through trial and error are how we learn things, right? Just different stages in life, different things that we do, um, from stepping off the street to going to school to work to relationships to, to every just however we engage with another person in life and with ourselves are, are different phases, right? And at different points, we let them go and we move on to something else. Sometimes we repeat, you know, certain things. Sometimes we circle that mountain a few times, but it, it all serves a purpose, okay? What I think is happening here is we come in with the page of wands, okay? That is, uh, that, that's a wild card, honestly, because that's, um, that's, either going in a new direction that you have no experience in and just deciding that you're just going to jump, right? Which I hope you're not without, you know, making it a calculated risk, okay? Because that card is a wild card because there's no, there's no, uh, it's very young energy, right? It's, you're either jumping into something that you're not sure about and it becomes like a grenade, right? Either way, your life will never be the same after that. So I, I'm hoping that it's just a phase, right? Like it's just something that you're trying to do. We'll go back to that because that card can have so many different meanings. But given we've got every court card at every level in here, I think it's, it's, it's cycles of life. It's growth. It's, it's reflection on where you've been, you know, what's hurt, what's not, where you need to grow, where you need to go in a different direction, what's stale, what's not, what am I... Uh, hanging on to, what am I refusing to let go, where am I not growing, where am I stagnant, it's, it's every vice and virtue, uh, every polarity in here, right, so um, we've got the Knight of Cups, okay, that's, that's, I don't know how to explain it in here, I, I'm hoping that I can explain it in a way that, that you get it, okay, uh, the knights come after the king, okay? The knights are not, the knights, let me just jump for a second. The king in here knows that, uh, the value of his kingdom, right? He knows his home, his domain, right? I'll, I'll relate it to us. Our home, our domain, the people in our lives, our surroundings, our, our jobs, our finances, our homes, our cars, all of, all of that, right? But he also knows that there's a whole other world out there right? It's not just about him and the kingdom. It's about his place in the world too. That's where the knight comes in because the knight is what carries to the next suit, which is coins. Okay. I hope I, I did that justice. Okay. But he's still on the go because he's not dropped anchor in his place there yet. All right. So these are just, I think, really different stages in life. The knight of coin, knight of cups, he's on that quest for, um, finding uh, his place in the world, what sets his heart on fire, where is he, uh, you know, his ever-ending quest to find uh, love in the external world. When he realizes that it's right where he's at, he drops anchor, right? This is where the queen of coins comes in. The queen of coins, and again, these are, don't put gender on these, these are just archetypes, okay? The queen of coins, she is someone who, uh, 
knows who she is. She knows what she wants. She knows what she wants in life. She knows the kind of life she wants, right? But she will get it at all costs. Okay, so this is, this is where we learn in life that we don't steamroll over people to get the things that we want. We don't need to manipulate people to get the things that we want. We really just do things uh, in the right way. And we realize that, you know, people around us will help us. We don't need to, to do things in a self-absorbed way like that, right? Because when we really know who we are, we don't need to steamroll over people. Okay, so that's the vice and virtue part of that. When we learn these things, that's where the transformation comes in, right? We learn those things. That's, that's just part of learning. We don't do these things sometimes, hopefully, right? Intentionally, when we learn that it doesn't work that way and that's not the right way to do it, we do it a different way. And now we come into the king uh, who realizes that, yes, you know, my domain is important, but it's also important what I do for the world. You know, I'm contributing part of what makes the world a better place, right? The four of coins here that is hearth and home right that's realizing that all of the assets that I've got I need to keep them in working order my health uh, my assets I need to keep um, you know my finances in good standing I need to keep my life as a whole productive and not stagnant right so that I can do better uh, for myself in my community and I can make the world a better place right we learn that through transformation too so you can put every card plus this and that's growth right that that's all that it is it's knowing that you've got to let something go to acquire something else and that's just learning it's different levels of learning the four of coins comes in now you know what is uh, substantial to keep your life in working order and and what's going to stagnate you right the seven of swords is usually that card that uh, um, comes in as the deceit card. It, it's more of an introverted card, right? It's someone who um, is a deep thinker, more like the mad scientist, right? Like a, a, an introverted person. They're not deceitful people. They're just not really, um, they, they're, you just don't see things. It, it leaves question. You're, you're, um, how you operate in the world leaves question to um, people really aren't sure where you're coming from or what you're doing or if they can trust you or if they can't trust you. So with this card though, with these two cards I should say, you really realize that, um, ah, I know what my place in the world is, right? And it's, it's doing something for yourself that sustains your home, but it also does something for the world. So you figure out here what your drop spot is, right? And, and you do it. With these two cards, okay, there's an air through here of um, wanting to do things your way and only your way, right? This also comes in with learning. Sometimes we, it takes a little longer sometimes, right, to circle that bend and realize that my way isn't the only way. And, you know, some of these signs and some of these houses really aren't, this house in particular, um, this house right here okay this is a difficult this is this is the third house of Gemini okay this is a difficult house but it gets better with age right it's when you it's where we learn language it's where we practice things it's where we learn new skills right it's it's figuring things out it's not always easy in the beginning part of life right but we figure it out as we go and it becomes much easier and we come uh, more open to doing things, right? This is the same with this house, right? It's, it's, it's what do I keep? What do I hang on to? What do I not hang on to? This to me is not the miser card. It's, it's, it's also, it's learning where do I put my stuff? Where do I put me, right? Where am I in this community? Where am I in, in life in general? And these two, I think that when you figure these things out, and we figure them out through life, it changes consistently. That's where this card comes in. Every phase of life, we can incorporate something and we let something old go, right? The key in this read, honestly, why I chose to keep it, I knew it was going to be challenging and a bit much for people, but, but it's, it's this energy that we're working in now and we can use it to our advantage, right? It's, it's all, we've got planets backed up and it's like one big massive uh, traffic jam. But what is, pretend you're, you, I'm going to use the analogy of a, a, a speedboat, right? In reverse, right? You're, you're, 
cranking it out in reverse and then you 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 throw it into drive right all that turbulence is 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 what's going to happen when these planets come out of retrograde right so we want to have our footing here as to where we can go now so let's figure all of this out right what works what doesn't work and really just guys really look at the things in your life on all levels right because it's inevitable that we've got to let things go that aren't working to let new things in and this energy it really can it hits home because it it, it just it's uh, it's throwing you into emotional moods where you think, oh crap, I thought I got over this, but now it's hitting home and you, you've got to address it again, right? So, so really just be honest with yourself and look at things because this is an opportunity here to really just clean house, right? And I know that that sounds very unfeeling and, and, and it's not, it's not. It's, it's, if we could let go of things really simply, we would, right? But there's a reason that we hang on to stuff and a lot of it is through fear of the unknown and that's, I really think, what that card means we don't want to jump off cliffs right we want to take calculated risks but we always want to ask what's the worst that can happen right you don't want to end up in the same scenario just have it look a little bit different right the goal here is to really just to grow and evolve all right and that like i say is what the king knows and that is what the knight carries he carries and more it's like my kingdom and more my kingdom and what i do in the world because when I know my value, I know what I can do for the world. And, and that's when your home is in order and that's when your external life is in order and life is really good, right? And you, you know where you are, you know your value, but you're not manipulating people to get it. You realize that that doesn't work. So, you know, it's accepting all parts of ourselves too. In growth periods, guys, that's the purpose of growth. We don't know any better. So when we're trying to critique things and we're trying to practice things and learn new skills, we don't always do them perfect and sometimes we roll over people right sometimes we don't but we figure it out that that's not the way to do things and we move on so don't beat yourself up and don't hold yourself back and don't be stagnant over well i tried this before and it didn't work it's not that same thing it's something different so pull on what you learned from that and then move it forward and that's all that this is i think it's progression i think it's great and um don't be afraid of that card because that's just it's letting things go and it's pulling in new things. It's just knowing change is needed, right? So there you go. I hope that I helped you in some way, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I will be more than happy to help you with anything, okay? Thank you so much.